Welcome to Flippin' American History Classes, a YouTube channel of American history lectures covering the breadth of American history from pre-Columbian times through 2008. My name's Brooks Flippin, and I'm a history professor who uses this site in his university classes. If you're interested in a relatively brief but informative lectures on American history, feel free to have a look, whether you're enrolled in school out somewhere out there in Cyberland or if you're just interested. Below on this homepage are 44 large topics in American history, numbered and presented in rough chronological order. Feel free to scroll through and select a topic that interests you. The material is collegiate level, but easy to digest and hopefully interesting. Within each topic are a series of short videos. The videos within each topic were designed to be watched in order. If you first just click on the topic below, the individual videos in that topic should play straight through, in order. If, however, you want to select a specific video from any topic, simply click the tab View Full Playlist just below the topic on my own page. If you do this, you will see the individual videos listed in order, and you can then select any one that you might want to see. So have at it. The rest of this introductory video will simply summarize the 44 topics if you want to skip the rest and just jump right in. There are four videos on pre-Columbian Native America, and it mostly focuses on the time period when the Europeans arrived. It goes by region, focusing most prominently on the Eastern Woodlands Indians. There are four videos as well on mercantilism and the drive towards colonization. That's involving the European background of colonization. What forces drove the Europeans to colonize? And this is, of course, basically the idea of mercantilism and the Protestant Reformation, their religious motives. There are two videos on the Columbian Exchange. That's the mutual transfer of plants, animals, and diseases that occurred when colonization first connected Europe to America. There are eight videos on 17th century colonial settlement. These videos focus on the uh, founding of the actual 13 colonies, at least the ones during the 17th century. There are six videos on the 17th century English empire and the development of regional economies. That discusses how the English governed their colonies in the 17th century and how regional economies developed in America during this period. There are five videos on colonial American slavery, which includes the reason that slavery developed in the first place. There are five videos on 18th century colonial life. And you know, keep in mind that the colonial period was a long period and life changed. And over the 1700s, it changed tremendously. And that's the focus of uh, these five videos. There are four videos on the coming of the American Revolution. And uh, that is not only the background, like the Enlightenment and Great Awakening, but it goes through chronologically events as they happen leading up to uh, Lexington and Concord. There are six videos on the American Revolution from just after Lexington and Concord until the Treaty of Paris in 1783. And these videos basically go chronologically. There are six videos on the formation of the American government, the Articles of Confederation and the Constitution. There are six videos on the Federalist era, roughly 1788 to 1800, and that included the presidencies of George Washington and John Adams. There are four videos on the presidency of Thomas Jefferson, the second half of the first political party system. There are five videos on James Madison's presidency and the War of 1812. There are six videos on the Air of Good Feelings, that period between 1816 and 1824, roughly. There are five videos on the presidency of John Quincy Adams and Andrew Jackson and the beginning of the second political party system. There are 14 videos on Antebellum America, which I'm going to basically uh, describe as 1830s, roughly through the 1850s. There are three videos on the nature of slavery during the Antebellum Age, and that includes things like slave codes and slave life and slave resistance. There is one video on Antebellum Free Blacks. One of the courses that I regularly teach is uh, the Civil War, and so we've got a lot of videos on that era. 
uh, there are nine videos on the coming of the Civil War, roughly from 1848 to 1860, and that includes things like abolitionism and the demise of the second political party system during the 1850s. And then, of course, there are 17 videos on actually the, the fighting of the Civil War. And also, the, these videos include uh, the economy and society during the war as well. There are four videos on the Reconstruction era from 1865 to 1877. There are 12 videos on the late 19th century American West. And uh, that includes, I think, cowboys, the last Indian fights, and ultimately the farmers. There are 13 videos on the late 19th century Industrial Revolution, which in America was the height of the Industrial Revolution. It discusses things not only about the big industries that were dominating the economy, but also some of the problems that emerged. These problems of the Industrial Revolution led to reform movements, and there are 14 videos on the reform movements of populism and progressivism, roughly from the 1890s through World War I. There are seven videos on imperialism, that's American foreign policy, roughly during the same period, 1890s through World War I. This includes things like uh, the Spanish-American War and uh, Theodore Roosevelt. I regularly teach courses on the uh, interwar period between World War I and World War II, so again, we have a lot of videos on World War I. There are 19 videos overall. Roughly, it goes chronologically. And uh, accordingly, there are 19 videos on the Roaring Twenties, the Jazz Age, and they're divided into politics, economy, and culture. There are seven videos on the Great Depression, and these videos do not focus on the New Deal, or the, uh, as, but, but they do focus on how bad it was, the overview of what life was like through the Great Depression, and also includes the, the uh, presidency of Herbert Hoover, which lasted until 1932. It's the next series of videos on 11, actually, on the New Deal, which, uh, of course, is the presidency of Franklin Roosevelt that transformed America. And again, there are a lot of videos in World War II, 18 in total, roughly, again, going chronologically. My area of specialization and the area I teach the most courses in is in the post-World War II era. And there are actually five different topics that deal with the roughly quarter century after the end of World War II, the period from 1945 to 1968. The first of these five topics I describe as liberalism, and I call it liberalism because there was a tremendous faith in the government during these uh, years and because the government grew as a result. It's the presidencies of Truman, and Eisenhower and Kennedy and Lyndon Johnson, and uh, the, that, of course, is the, the Great Society. It looks at their domestic and economic policies. The second of these five topics focusing on this period from 1945 to 1968 is the foreign policy, the Cold War. And uh, it goes, again, in a chronological order or through those same presidencies. The third is the culture topic. And that discusses things like the uh, booming economy of the 1950s, the cultural conformity of that age, and the baby boom. And it, you know, of course, gets into the 1960s, the old sex, drugs, and rock and roll. The fourth of the topics that focus on the period 1945 to 1968 are the African American civil rights uh, videos. And that goes from, uh, again, the same presidencies, but includes things like the Brown versus Board of Education case, Martin Luther King, and all the voting legislation. The final uh, of these topics that deals with the period 1945 to 1968 are the three videos that deal with women, Hispanics, Native American, and gay and lesbian civil rights during the period. Moving on chronologically, uh, the next video there are 11, next topic rather, there are 11 videos uh, that pertain to Nixon and Watergate and the troubled 1970s. Things like the energy crisis, the Ford presidency, and Jimmy Carter's uh, presidency. During the 1970s, of course, the Vietnam War sort of uh, finally ended, and uh, there's a separate topic on the Vietnam War. There are a total of 10 videos on that war, and this actually goes back to the roots of the conflict back uh, during Truman's presidency and follows chronologically all the way through the 1970s. There are seven videos on the next topic, the culture of the 1970s and the 1980s. 
there are uh, four videos on the presidency of Ronald Reagan, focusing primarily on its uh, domestic policies and the politics of the age. There are 10 videos on the Cold War from 1968 until it concluded in 1992, and that goes from Nixon, Ford, Carter, Reagan, uh, George Herbert Walker Bush, and the fall of the, uh, the Cold War. Next topic is conservatism, 1988 to 2008, and there are nine videos on the domestic politics and policies of the presidencies of George uh, Bush, Bill Clinton, and George W. Bush. There are four videos on the post-Cold War era and the War of Terror, 1992 through 2008, the foreign policy of Bill Clinton and George W. Bush presidencies. There are four videos on a modern American culture from 1992 through 2008. The final topic is a little bit different. The final 44th topic uh, are overviews of American social cultural history, pre-Columbian all the way through 2008. And there's so many of these videos, I'm just going to break it down into uh, three slides here. Then. They're uh, all organized topically by specific aspects in American life. And within each topic or aspect, the videos are chronological. So you see here, there's one on recreation history, food history, clothing history, and religious history. Other social cultural topics include uh, architecture and housing, transportation, uh, literature and books, and medicine. And finally, the history of American language and communications and the history of American music and art and the history of education. In any event, this concludes the uh, introductory video on um, flipping American history classes. So hope you uh, gain something from this and uh, good luck.